Today we are going to be reviewing the 24-70 f2.8 Z lens versus the kit 24-70 f4. A lot of you have been asking whether it's really worth the extra money. The extra Bitcoin that you have. <laughs> this one comes in a kit with most FXZ cameras now. In fact, all of them because they've just made that Z5 kit. And this one comes in its own box and sold separately. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take it out, test them both and let you know what we think. Can't wait, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> oh, I need my camera. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we can test the closest focusing distance with these little things. With this? Okay, yeah, sure. Let's do that. And this is stuff that you don't take pictures of. That's not the closest focusing distance. That's actually pretty close. That is close. Look, Look at that. Lie to you. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, that's an F4. Okay, different angle. Let okay. me shoot from the same angle as you. I wouldn't call it a bulky obliterator. It's not a 512. <laughs> it's not a 512. But it's, it's pretty good. Are you at 70 or 24? Uh, at 70. Okay. Why would I test um, macro facility at 24? <laughs> okay, I want to compare notes. Yes. Same. So yeah. that's better, no? That's better. Like, it does look more pleasing. I it it does look more pleasing. Yeah, okay, fine. But I still like this actually it's very light it is light the next test yeah. is for us to both shoot at the same aperture come and take a picture of this right here yeah at f4 f4 and 70 yeah f4 at 70. why did we end up with like two entirely different pictures because we are different photographers aren't we <laughs> we don't shoot the same <laughs> okay let's have a look at this i went really dark oh you did so moody yeah well, you see how overexposed this is the greens actually, come out bleached out i well, don't disagree with you Okay. So I like that. No, it's much better. But actually, while we're here, let's test those focus speed. Because she's going to run around. I'm going to set myself on the animal detection. At the moment, I have eye priority. Animal detection is on. I too have eye priority. Since we're going to have Tilly on all our videos from now on. Tilly! Oh my god! <laughs> Good girl. I wasn't even ready to frame the shot yet. So you see, the cameras are not designed to get pictures this way. That's the thing. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got the face and the eyes. Boom! Tilly, Tilly, Tilly! Tilly, Tilly. <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> oh. We always find new subjects. Well, we need to go on discovery, you know? Robin is following us everywhere. He's so cute. You just go. <laughs> you see that the thing is, I can shoot at 2.8, and you can't, and that's a big disadvantage for you. Are you sure about that? Because I'm, I'm making the most of my f4. You know, come here and look at what I can achieve with f4. Look <laughs> at the depth of field. Okay, okay, okay. I I get you this one. So obviously, this is not the conventional use for a 2.8 lens, standing in the forest. No. Necessarily. So many people. It is. At the events where you need to get group shots or quick shot at 2.8, one person, two people you stop down to a four and group at five, six or f eight. It does this, Yeah. but this one can also do that. But for a single person though, it's okay. But indoors, you don't have, you know, background way back. So no. it's a lot more compressed, so maybe the depth of field, you know, the bokeh is not going to be as nice. No, and the 2.8 would be useful if you're trying to just get rid of that background. Exactly. Okay, exactly. and then if you're a, if you're, if you are a beauty or portrait photographer... Then... I would go with prime lens. Yeah, it's true. But this is good if you want to get all in one. Autofocus is good. And you know what? This is not too bad. Like, we looked at 7200 and that one is heavy. With this one, I can actually walk. 
this is better, of course, yeah. but compared to, let's say, F mount 2470, especially the VR version, yeah. this is a lot smaller. It's not, good, it's not as front heavy on this. No. So, you know, even without battery pack. So that's pretty good. Yes, exactly. Should we swap? Nah. One thing that I have to complain about is the fact that the manual focus ring is, in, is the other way around. I can live with it. You know, I thought that 2470 F4 is all I need. <laughs> but now you've tasted the 2.8 aperture. Exactly. And that's the problem. If you have access to better lenses, you don't want to come back to something. You know, it's the, 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 the bar has been raised. That's right. At the same time, if you're on holiday, F4 is pretty good. I'd say as a kit lens sold at about 500 pounds with the camera, it's fantastic. Once you spend more money on 2.8, you'll definitely see improvement in image quality, in bokeh rendering, and also much closer focusing distance. I, on the other hand, I don't find it too heavy. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not that much heavier than the It's F4. more balanced, isn't it? Yeah, but, um, but I just wouldn't justify the extra thousand pounds. I it's, see. It's a thousand pounds more. So you'd rather spend 2,300 pounds on 51.2 having the same size and weight <laughs> than getting this. Yeah. Fair enough. Probably. No, um, I would probably add another two primes for that thousand pounds, personally. Which primes would you get with it? Well, I've got the 35. Okay. So it would probably be the 50 and the 85. Mm. 85 is not normally a focal length I use. Mm -hmm. If I'm completely honest, I'd probably just wait for the macro and then I would just get the, the macro and lens. And just throw away 24 to 70. <laughs> 24 to 70, I think, is still valid as a travel lens. That's its main use. Yeah. And for those that don't want. Okay, here's the question for you. So, would you get this set up just as a kit? Or would you get, let's say, Z6 and 24 to 200? And then get some prime lenses to go with it? Ooh, that's a good question. I, if I was starting from scratch again, and the 24 to 200 was had been in a kit with the Z6, then I might have gone that way. Mm. It's in a kit with the Z5. I think that's a great setup. Okay, if you would have additional 400 pounds to spend, so if this is, let's say, cost about 500 when you buy it together with the camera, and 24 to 200 is what, eight, 900 pounds or so, yeah? Yeah. So if you would add 400 pounds to that package and would skip that, would you get 24 to 200 instead of this? No, I'd get that and a prime, mm. at least one prime, but that's the kind, that's the kind of thing that I shoot. I see. I would get 24 to 200, and I don't, you know, I don't use those lenses, but I like that one. I would take it as with me as all one with a, let's say, 50 prime. Yeah. And then at some point, once we back to commercial work and everything, I would get this, and that would be my investment yeah. towards professional work. Yeah. I definitely see the point of using this. I don't use 7200 as much for my work, but this is quite useful for, type, for event type of photography. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. If you're going to have one, pro lens in your whole kit then I think this one makes the most sense because what I would do is I would get this on one body and then I would get second body with a prime lens okay. probably 50 or 85 and that way if I need very shallow depth field I would go there and then this lens would cover me for most things okay shall we do some portraiture shall we shall why we? not but you've got the F4 now. i got a F4 now. <laughs> I don't like it. Where's my 105-14? When you need it. All right, let's oh, okay, see. Okay, we're gonna be at the same distance. Uh, let's try, let's see what it is. Okay, let's see if Fatini can give us a good smile here. I'm just overexposed, oh, one second. Just don't blink, that's it, that's it. I like when she's quiet. <laughs> I yeah, think shall we too... come closer? Yeah, I wanna be like, I want to fill the frame with a beautiful you want face. To have the depths of field, yeah? That's what I want. A need to change my 24 to 70 for a 2.8, whereas you're like. <laughs> so, in conclusion, for me, I don't really feel the need to change my lens to the f2.8. I think that the F4 is more than adequate for what I need and most of the time I'm going to be shooting with primes or different focal lengths anyway. What's your, what's your conclusion, Con? In conclusion, Becky, I like it. I think that 
If you're a pro photographer, again, pro photographer who is earning money through photography, this is one of the lenses you should have. Sure. You should really have this lens, 1424, 7200, and a set of primes. So as a part of investment strategy towards mirrorless system, for if you're switching, you definitely would want to have this lens and upgrade your old F mount 2470. Now, if you do have 2470 F mount already, 2.8, you can start with this and then you know, later on, you can upgrade it. This is definitely smaller and lighter and much better balanced. Optically is fantastic. Bokeh rendering is good and it's fairly close focusing. For general users, travel users, I agree, this is really nice lens to have. Mm -hmm. It's small and light. It's very inexpensive when you're buying it together with the camera as a kit because yep. you're saving quite a bit. Yep. So as a walk around, this is good setup for pro use. There's a space for this. So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.